Today we're going to be taking a C sharp library and running it within Node. You might think that this is relatively simple because if you followed the last tutorial, uh, we use this FFI library to load in DLLs. And I also told you that you could load in a DLL that was located in the current folder. Now, the DLLs we loaded in the last video was unmanaged DLLs, which means that they are exposing all of their functionality to Node. With the case of C Sharp, that is a managed language, which means that they are hiding all of the functionality. You can still, from another managed language, access these things but it becomes a bit tricky when you are accessing it from an unmanaged language which if you don't know javascript is developed in c++ so before we were using c++ code from c++ code essentially and now we are working with unmanaged code and trying to access managed code Right here I have a math class where I have to subtract and an add and a random math and you can see the functionality is in here and in here I'm making the map so the subtract is going to return an integer and take two integers and same for the rest of the functions. And down here I run the math function from 1 to 5 and will generate a random number. Now you might think that this is relatively easy. You just go up here, build your solution. And when your solution is done building, you go in your debug or release folder and copy the DLL and paste it in your project file. And then you try running it. But you can see that we get an error. Now the error is not that it can't see this DLL. The error is that it can't see the functions. So let's expose this code. You can do this in the native uh, C sharp language, but it's very tedious and there's a lot of metadata that you have to add to all of your code. But there's a tool called DLL export that will actually just do all this for you. One note I have to mention is that if you are in a newer version than Visual Studio 2015, this won't actually work. But you can go ahead and create your solution in 2015 and then open it in a newer version and then it will work. But you have to originally have created it in 2015 because else DLL export is not going to work. There might be other tools that will work and maybe in the future DLL export will be uh, uh, fixed. So the first thing you have to do is that you have to navigate to where your solution is stored. So in my case, my solution is stored right here. And then you have to download this DLL export.bat file from the internet. I will leave the link down below, both to the direct download link and their GitHub. I think the direct download link is very difficult to find. So that's why I have included the direct download link. But once you have dragged it next to your solution, you can just double click on it. And you can see that you get this option here to install it. So I press install and I press apply. And now if we go into our Visual Studio, it will tell us to reload and we'll press reload. Then you just have to add an attribute to the functions that you want to export. Remember, these have to be a static function. So the way you do it is just like that and then DL export. And you can see that is highlighted, meaning that it recognizes DL export. Now we can just go ahead and add this for the rest. You can see all of our functions have this DL export. Now if we press build, the code builds successfully and we can go into our debug folder or release and access this. Now you can see there's a few different uh, folders in here. This is the one that won't work and these are the ones that DLL export has generated. So we're going to pick 64 bit in this case and in here we have a DLL and if we copy this DLL into our project files, replace it and now try running our library here you can see that we get four. And let's try running it again. Get two, four, four, two, three. So now you can see it works. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.